Good morning, Privateer FX fans and European traders. We're back on Tuesday here. Had some news out of the BOJ last night. As we were saying yesterday, I think we're on to something with this Euro Yen. And we are. We had this turn bar here. Big thumper of a down red bar there. And then we had this little bit of a taper news. BOJ is repurchasing less in their latest market operation. Market's long euro yen. This is not going to. Um, I don't think this is going to stop here. We got a couple more red bars coming our way. So. You want to be short euro yen. A little bit late to the game if we're doing it today, but this thing is going to go lower still. So there's going to be a risk below 134.50, which was that big sideways consolidation top. This guy's going lower. So core short euro yen. Hopefully you're still short from yesterday. If not, dip your toe in here. Maybe try and sell some 90s. It's a tough one because where do you leave your stop now? Or you can just sort of break trade it uh, through 50. 48 has been the low today. So bang, bang, through 50 might, might pay. Moving on, cable. No trade yesterday through our uh, magical mystery 135.25 level. Still like it. Still defined by the bar from Jan 3rd. This thing goes bullish above 136.15. It goes bearish, mildly bearish through 25. Really bearish through 135 to figure. So, we're going to keep an eye on those parameters today. Euro eventually gave us what we wanted yesterday. It was a miracle. Oh, wait, the high. Um, we'll take it though. Looks negative, gotta say. Uh, this 60 level is now a pivot. We're just sitting here. Europe's gonna take it left hand side first thing. Hopefully, you're still short from yesterday. If you're not, work yourself into shorts today. Um, use 12010 as a stop, right? 08, 08 to high yesterday. One sneaky way of uh, getting short euro might be to be getting long dollar Swiss, which is lagging for some reason. But this 86 level here now is, is worth a look. 97, 86, number of highs there. The 200 day is a 78, which in dollar Swiss has been relatively meaningless, unfortunately, the last, last couple of months. But it really starts to look interesting above 98, the figure. Good luck, dollar Swiss. Uh, I've been burnt, scarred, and poisoned by this pair too many times. Do not count me in on the dollar Swiss trade today. Doesn't mean you can't make money off it, though, so keep it in mind. Sterling Yen. Perfect doji yesterday. Here we are, 152.90. Sterling Yen is, is particularly difficult to trade also, but close below 153 the figure today, or 152.90. Looks very bad. You got this perfectly indecisive bar at the top of a range in a pair that's one Brexit piece of news away from dropping 400 points. I don't know. You be the judge. Short sterling yen seems seems like not a bad idea. Let's head over to the cryptos. Again, Bitcoin. It's just screwing around mid-range. Uh, we don't really care about Bitcoin at 15,000. No trades here. Stick some random bids in. Ethereum. Speaking of sticking random bids in, 
We all got filled on our 1,000 bids yesterday. I don't even know what the news was. Have a look at the hourly. Bang. Ooh-wee. Quick 12%. Uh, down to 966. Right back up to 1,200. This looks... I don't know what this looks like. It's 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 hard to make any sense of it. Um, the random bid strategy seems to be working, or the break trade strategy seems to be working. So we're gonna watch uh, this 12, 200 level, really 12, 25. Through that, we'll treat it like a break trade and just sort of grab cash as as it becomes available. God bless Ethereum. Let's see what our little boy Nimic's doing. Seven bucks. This is our little pet uh, crypto. Gonna be able to mine it on the browsers. Can't really trade it. You either have to own it or wait until March when the market cap's going to grow a little bit and be a little bit more well known anyway, seven bucks if you own a thousand nets worth seven grand that's it for today guys euro yen sterling yen lower good luck